So we're going to take a look today at hypergeometric distributions. And this is successes among dependent events. And recall that before we were looking at binomial theorem, uh, binomial distribution. And in that case, the events were independent. So just as a review, what is the probability of receiving two hearts in a three-card hand dealt from a standard deck? Now, in this case, because the cards are dealt, we don't care um, what order the, they were dealt in. So this is going to be a combination. So the sample space here, uh, or the number of three-card hands that are possible, will be the combination of 52, choose three. Now, there are 13 hearts in a deck and 39 cards remaining in the three suits. So two of these are going to be hearts, and one of them is going to be one of the other 39. So the number of ways that this can happen is going to be 13 choose 2, which is the number of ways that we can uh, deal two hearts, times 39 choose 1, which is the number of ways that we could have one of the 39 cards uh, from the other suits. So when we look at the probability here, remember that probability of two hearts here is the number of ways that something can occur divided, um, divided by the number of possible outcomes. And so 13 choose 2 times 39 choose 1 will be the number of ways that we can have a hand of three cards dealt where the result is two hearts exactly divided by 52 choose 3. And this works out to be approximately 13.8% or 0 decimal 138. Now the next question is what would the probability distribution for the number of hearts dealt in a three card hand look like? Now, when we talk about a probability distribution, we're interested in what is the probability of getting zero hearts, one heart, two hearts, or three hearts. So we've already calculated the probability of getting two hearts in a three card hand. So the probability of getting zero hearts will be 13 choose zero, the number of ways we could choose zero hearts, and that's one way, times 39 choose three divided by 52 choose 3. Now, the 39 choose 3 would be the number of ways we could get uh, three cards that are spade, club, or diamond, so that none of them are hearts. And the probability of this is about 41.4%, or 0 decimal 414. The number of ways we can get uh, one heart is 13 choose 1, so the number of ways we could choose one heart out of the 13, times 39 choose 2, which is the number of ways that we could choose two cards from the remaining 39 non-heart cards, divided by 52 choose 3, which is our sample space, and that works out to be approximately 43.6% or 0 decimal 436. Lastly, because we've already done the calculation for two hearts, the, way, the number of ways we can uh, choose have a, a hand that is all hearts out of the three cards is 32 choose 3 times 39 choose 0. Now this will give us a number of ways that we can have three hearts out of three cards divided by the sample space and this works out to be approximately 1.3 percent. So now what I have here is an Excel fi um, file in which I've got the results from our probability distribution. And so when I put this into a chart, again, we're going to have to adjust the axes. So I'm going to choose Select Data. And I'll remove, because I want probability to be on my, uh, is my dependent variable. So I'm going to remove it from, sorry, remove number of hearts from that. And for the horizontal axis, I'm going to select the, the hearts, 0, 1, 2, 3, the number of hearts. And OK. And so there's our probability distribution. So again, um, we can change this quickly. So this is probability of hearts in a three card hand. And 
This will be our probability. And you can see just by looking at this, uh, you're likely to get zero or one heart and less likely to get two or three hearts when you deal a three card hand. And that makes sense because you've got a one in four chance of dealing a heart. So your expected value would be very close to uh, a little bit below one. So these are examples of, this is an example of a hypogeometric probability distribution. And in this example, each time a heart was dealt, it was removed from the deck and it could not be selected again. So this is, these are examples of dependent events and we use combinations to select items without replacement. And we can't use a, um, a binomial probability distribution here because Bernoulli trials are independent events, if you recall. So the probability in a hypergeometric distribution is given by the formula here. And so if A is the number of possible successful outcomes from a total of N possible outcomes, so in the case of um, the situation we just saw, the number of possible successful outcomes would be the number of hearts, and the num total number of possible outcomes would be 52, the number of cards in the deck, then the probability of X successes, so that would be 0, 1, 2, or 3, depending on whether we were interested in 0 hearts, 1 heart, 2 hearts, etc. In and, uh, our dependent... Uh, trials would be the number of cards you dealt, which would be three in the uh, case we just saw. So if you watch the next video, uh, it'll be a lesson on hypergeometric distributions.